What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pixelmon 1.8 Survival or now being known as Pokey Legends because we did release a server. If you guys did not see any of the episodes I put out in the last few days, you did miss quite a bit. We did release the Pixelmon thing on a server. As you can see, there are tons of people on right now. If you want more details on that, there are links in the description to where you could go and check it out, the polygon.net slash store. And um, yeah, so pretty hyped about that. A lot of you guys have been really enjoying the server. We've been playing with you guys, battling you guys, and it's been, uh, it's been a, been a good, good few days. So server release hype if you guys did not see my live stream highlights which i feel like some of you may have missed we did get poopy tar which is now being dubbed at or we, we got poopy tar to tarana poopy tar as you can see right here so that's oh yeah and you guys did hit 110 likes not on one episode you get hit 80 likes on the one episode but then on the live stream highlights episode you did guys did hit 30 likes so i do want to give a big thank you to you all and I actually had a lot of fun doing that live stream. I think if we could break 90 likes on a few episodes this week, I will do another live stream this weekend. I think this time we could do it for two hours instead of one hour. Because, again, I had a lot of fun and um, I want to do some more of those. So, I know someone is waiting for me right now. TP to Cyan. And, um, wait, wait, where did he, I thought that was his name. Um, what is his name? The Cyan Shark. So TP the Cyan Shark. Apparently he had a uh, he had a level seventy four wild Tyranitar, and I didn't know what to do with it because I don't want to catch it. And as you can see, he was just holding it here for me. But look at this thing. This thing is massive, and uh, this thing is very scary. Do I kill it? <laughs> oh, oh wait. LOL. Um, I don't know what to do with it because I don't think I should catch it. I don't have any Pokeballs actually, so I, I can't. Um, I think I will. Uh, um, yeah, I feel like that's the best bet here. Should we try and take it on with Nido Queen? And actually, our Poopy Tar has yet to lose a battle, mind you. So we gotta gotta make sure that's known. Um, what do we do here? <laughs> I guess a Body Slam. We're gonna get the Power Hacks. He just used Hyper Beam though, and that hurt a lot. So we'll go for an Earth Power, which is super effective. Um, okay, that didn't go as well as I thought. Quilava's got this right. JK, I, I just wanted to uh, throw him out to gain some experience. What I really want to do is switch into Infernape. Who, oh my god, wait, this guy's just going to keep using Hyper Beam. Doesn't he have to recharge the next turn? We could uh, go for Bubble Beam, though, and it should hurt him quite a bit. He's Oh god, wait, this guy's doing a lot more damage than I thought originally. Okay, oh, I missed. Oh no, I'm getting hurt by the Sandstorm. Oh wait, okay, okay, wait, wait this is actually really bad. So I'm going to bounce because uh, I want to do that, and I don't want him to hit me and bounce not very effective okay that's okay though we're gonna go for a hydro pump now oh we did finish him off whoa quilava with that 12,488 experience um oh my god oh <laughs> and we did level up to all um on the other dude on uh mantine did level up to 55 quilava gained like eight levels lol all right, so I think that went pretty well. Someone else did want to battle me, though. And I forget who. Oh, it was Miri. Slash GP to Miri plays. And did he was challenging me to a battle. So I'm going to teleport over here and try and battle him. Oh, I can't use that here. So I'm just going to Pokey Heal normally. Let's see if Miri is still want to battle. Oh, oh, no. Wait, he wanted, He said he had a prison. Oh. <gasps> what? He just gave me a Master Ball. Thank you so much, dude. Oh my god. Wait, that's that's actually really good. And look at all these Pokeballs. You were just out of Pokeballs, too. And he gave you a bunch of Quick Balls and a bunch of, bunch of Dust Balls. Oh, dude. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks, man. So now we have to go catch somebody really good. Oh, and look at his Larvitar. He does have the uh, the, the young Poopitar there. And we're going to show our Tyranna Poopitar, which is the obviously the maximum evolution. But if you guys didn't watch during the live stream, I did decide that um, I am going to go... Oh, what else did he send out? Oh, he has a nice level 64 Heracross, too. That's nice. I like it. I like it. So... Um, yeah, oh, oh, that is the next Pokemon I do want to catch, though, guys. So, essentially, or, I'm sorry, Salamence is the next Pokemon, or back on, really. But, um, so we're going to teleport back to my new home, and actually to here. But, essentially, what I decided what, during the uh, live stream was that, despite the fact, do I have a back on? Actually, I was, I was thinking about that. Despite the fact that we have some really strong Pokemon on our team, I think it's time to... Do a little bit of uh, switching around. So in this episode, I think I want to focus on getting my uh, my very tiny Quilava 
to uh, the next level. Infernape and all these other guys, I like them, but I think I want to switch them out for other people. What what does he have? What is this held item? I don't know. I guess you can't check it from here, but yeah, I kind of wanted to move them around and get some better other Pokemon. Not better necessarily, but just some different Pokemon in there. Um, I can't move him. <laughs> um, what I did want to do also is one of these guys had false swipe. Yeah, you have it. So I want to I want to keep this guy with me as well. But yeah, I want to kind of move on to the next phase of training up and all that because I I do want to get some different Pokemon. We do have this Nino Ren male which has um oh. He actually has a pretty good nature, so let's get him, because imagine a Needle Queen, Needle King duo, that would be kind of cool, actually. I would like that quite a bit, and I think I want to level up the Scorpy as well. I was thinking about it, but he has increased special attack, and I don't think that's going to do it, so maybe I want to go catch another Scorpy. Obviously, we have all these Pokeballs now, so we can actually do that, so that's pretty exciting for us. Um, we do have Turtwig and all that. There's so many Pokemon I want to level up and evolve, but I think for the time being, I'm going to focus on these and Houndour, because... Uh I did want a Houndour for a while, and he has a pretty good nature for a fire type. And I obviously do have that flamethrower uh, TM that I have, or flame blast TM that I have been wanting to teach someone for quite some time. So what I want to do now, though, is I want to go back in here, and I want to heal up all of our Pokemon. And uh, I'm going to go find a good place to train, and I will come right back. So I was looking around, and someone said they found a gold boss, uh, Aaron, Aaron, uh, this guy. <laughs> and uh, I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, I want that. So we're going to battle him. He's a little... Oh, sh Oh, God, wait. This is gonna ha be hard to kill. So I could Thunder Wave him and Dragon Rage him down, maybe? I think this is actually my best bet, but yeah, this guy's gonna be uh, very difficult to kill. We could literally probably level up Cool Lava right now. Though. Oh, God, that hurt. Um, okay, okay. Um, I mean, we do have a ton of fire types, but they're all way, way too low level. So we're going to be able to bounce on him a few times because we are uh, we are going to be way faster. Oh, but he has Sucker Punch. Crap. But, uh, oh god, if we don't actually... If, we, if he uses, like, Sucker Punch a few more... Oh god. Oh god. Uh, wait, wait. This is actually kind of bad because we only have, like, a bunch of really low-level fire types. Uh, I guess Flame Wheel. Come on, you can do it, baby. Oh, how did... A uh, level 95 can't kill me? Oh my god. Wait, we're going to be able to kill him right now, aren't we? Oh my god, the cool lava did it! The, Quila the level 28 Kualava just killed the level 95 Aaron, Aaron Nada, whatever his name is. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. So we're going to get rid of Smoke Screen because I hate that move. And what did we get? We got a Sunstone, a Dust Stone, a Thunderstone, a Cherry Berry, a Razor Claw, and a Wood Hammer. Oh my goodness. So I guess that is... Um we are quite a bit closer to uh, getting this guy leveled up, aren't we? So that went quite well, if I do say so myself. We do have a bunch of ladybugs. Oh, no. The, the, a fatal error occurred. That has been, if you guys watch the live stream, it has been the poopy tar fatal error occurred streak. I don't know why, but it's just been happening so much with poopy tar ever since I caught him. I don't know why or how it's tied to him, but it's not big of a deal. We just could rejoin. Can kill me. I'm stuck in a battle. Um, slash kill Nova. No, oh wait, I don't think that's a command. Uh, we could do slash kick Nova. Um, that works too. So we'll go travel over this way. Oh, it looks like this is someone's house actually, and this looks quite nice. So we could go explore over here a little bit. Because I have been actually having a lot of fun checking your guys' houses out. They, a lot of them are coming out really, really nicely, if I do say so myself. We're already out of hunger, or uh, yeah, our hunger is down to a very low amount. So let's battle this, uh, this guy with their brand new awesome cool lava we have a labian ladian whatever his name is and we'll go for an ember on you a super effective one shot him which is nice but oh yeah look at this this is someone's house this is i actually really like this i think it's coming out quite well we have a jigglypuff here which we're going to try and kill but uh we, ooh, we should heal up oh wait that's that's not how you heal up so we'll go for a flame wheel oh we one shot him with the critical hit oh user cloaks itself and attacks uh hmm so I guess we'll get rid of Ember for that, but uh, let's actually... Oh, wait, does he have a healer? Oh, he does have a healer. Perfect. See, this is the greatest part about uh, opening it to be a server. Oh, wait, I can't do that. I can't use it here because his land's protected. Um, well, what it would have been is the greatest part is uh, a lot of these guys do have healers and stuff. So uh, we always have an opportunity to use those. And uh, I think we will... Oh, crap. What did I just do? I, I hit run. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Knocked Owl. Sorry to troll you a little bit there. So we're going to use a flame charge on him. He's going to flinch me, and we're going to die if we stay in. So we're going to have to switch. Oh. Uh, Kolava, you're the highest level on the team, man. You got to take charge. Yeah. Uh. Uh. 
So I did arrive at the area I actually did want to train at, and that's because these guys, these kind of areas, I forget what biome this is, um, Sunflower Plains, they always spawn these, uh, these dudes. What are they called? Oh, Pincer, which, Pincer, whoa, chill, dude. All right, Pincer, but, uh, yeah, they always spawn a ton of Pincers, which, ow, other than hurting a lot, typically are decently high level. They're actually pretty nice, and I think it's just a really pretty biome to look at. Like, I don't know, I just enjoy being in these biomes. Why do these pincers keep battling me? Holy crap. Uh, I don't know. They don't go down easily, though. Oh, my God. He just killed me. All right, Houndour, your time to shine, baby. Um, Ember? Oh, we got a burnt. A surprise burnt. Oh, wait. So, every, no one, everyone just died. Oh, wait, that's really sad. All right, so we're going to use a max revive. Oh, wait, I can't. I have to initiate a battle, I think, to use a max revive. So we can go battle this Gloom. Um, why What? Why are all these Pokemon so aggressive? Jeez. Calm down, Gloom. Um, but I'm going to use a max revive right now because I do want to um, revive Quilava here. Because I'm not really keen on having him be dead. I do want to evolve him right now to get that Typhlosion, the Pygmy Typhlosion. And I'm pretty excited about that. So he's going to use Acid, not too big of a deal, he could go for a quick attack on him, um, he's going to put me to sleep, I'll switch into Kulava, and this could actually be the one that breaks the camel's back and lets me evolve, so we'll go for a flame wheel, I think I should be, oh I got to level 50 finally too, I didn't even realize that just happened, so that's awesome, um, we do have a weeping bell over there, whoa, <laughs> look at that cattery, it's a little, um, so we'll go battle the weeping bell, and that is uh, a Kakuna, where did the weeping bell go? Oh, did I see a Kakuna and not a Weeping Bell? That is a very, a very awkward two Pokemon to get confused. How's that yawn? Um, oh, there's a bunch of Tauruses over here, though. So if we could find a good level one, we could probably take him out with Quilava, because Quilava is pretty good. He is, uh, what, is, what are his stats, actually? He has lowered attack. Oh, that's why I should stop using uh, attacking moves. I was like, why is uh, his, are those, whoa, look at this Sunkern. Level 59 Sun, Jesus, that's a high, high level. Um... Wait, no, I don't want to battle you, Ladybug. Um, Sun Curtain, come back here. Um, I can't actually battle it, doesn't appear. So let's try that again. Oh, he's hiding behind the, the flowers. Stop it. He, 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 wait, is he actually hiding behind the flowers? Do they know how to do that? Because it looks like he is. Okay, wait, we got to time this perfectly. Haha, -ha, what? How did that not? Oh, wait, I'm, I have the wrong Pokemon selected regardless. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to battle this dude. It's like actually win the battle rather. There you go, finally. So 10 minutes later, we do get him. So we'll go for a flame wheel. And oh, wait, no, we, I'm not too worried. He has really low stats. And um, he only gave us 1600 experience anyway. But look at how high level these guys are. Oh, wait, this better not take another 10 minutes to get to battle him. Oh, is that is that my Scyther? No, it's a wild 40. Oh, wait, no, I, I don't think I could win a battle against a level 48 Scyther. But see, like, I, I just, just this is biome. Like, I would love to live in one of these because it's, it's so pleasant to be in. And uh, we're going to do a flame wheel on him. As you can see, the Scyther has much more reputable stats, as you could tell by his fact that he's not dying. Uh, we should be able to finish him off there. Oh, damn it. Why, Scyther, why? Um, I guess Dragonite's going to have to go in and go for a... Uh, we could probably just Dragon Rage him and one-shot it. There you go, so Dragonite's going to level up to 32. So, Dragonite has been... Wait, is that a boss? No, no. <laughs> so, the Tauros is... Uh, whoa, Tauros, calm down there, but... So, uh, we're gonna battle the Tauros so we could, uh, use another Max Revive on, um, on Mr. HPP Restore, uh, on Mr. Kulava here, because Kulava, it is just, he is having performance issues, he has been unable to, uh, actually get to the next level here, which is very, very sad for him, but it's okay, dude, because we're gonna use our Max Revive, he's gonna use a workup, and hopefully we get away, no strings attached, just kidding, we're not, oh god, Mantine should be able to finish off Tauros, though, so for go, go for a Hydro Pump, and we should be able to one-shot him. So, the leather was dropped on the ground because we don't have enough inventory space. That is A-OK. -okay. So, Quilava, we gotta have a little pep talk, man. I know you're small, but you do pack a pretty big punch. And, uh, you know, this you're just not performing up to standards lately, man. You gotta, gotta step it up. Oh, I'm holding a rare candy, so you like me. <laughs> I could use the rare candy to get him to the next level, but that'd be a little cheap. So, we gotta find one good Pokemon. That jump Jumpluff... That could be it. I did not mean to break that uh, plant there. I didn't. That was kind of mean of me. Um, so what about or this butterfly? No, it's level eighteen. Um, so the jump bluff is looking, looking mighty attractive right now. Level forty eight though. You're such a high level. If he has like any good moves, I'm in a bad spot. Uh, actually, I, he doesn't look like he does though. All right, yeah, he's using tail whip. So I'm feeling good about this one. Quilava, 
Are you gonna evolve? Oh, Quilava did do it! Oh, he gave two levels too. Quilava just adding injury to insult right there. Oh, my, or insult to injury? Yeah, insult to injury right there. So we're gonna watch as our Quilava does evolve into the very, very tiny pygmy Typhlosion. So this is actually really exciting, guys. Um, oh, then I cannot make an enchantment table. Uh, oh, oh. So as you can see, the Typhlosion does come out. And did they change the uh, evolution texture for him? Look how tiny it is. <laughs> it is really small. I like it. It kind of runs around. It looks like a, like a weird rat or something. But that's okay, guys. There are a bunch of wild Tauros here. I did put away my shiny... Who just despawned? Someone just despawned. So we have a Sunker, a Swadloon, and uh, all kinds of different Pokemon are spawning. It's making me actually really enjoy hanging out in this biome. It makes it so, like, pleasant looking. Oh, it looks like someone's house is over there. So let's go run over here. I'll check it out. Hopefully we don't starve to death. I have one ball to catch an Oshawott. You could do it, dude. I believe in you. Gotta catch them all. So the Cyan Shark did get the achievement for catching or craft a Pokeball. And a uh, big shout out to you. Oh, that Mareep has a nice uh, texture there. I like that. So let's go travel up here as I yawn again. I apologize. It's uh, This is what happens when I record earlier in the morning. I don't know why. It, it just It's a common thing. So it looks like Zerk152 is building his house in there. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so he just crashed it. He's the one that just... That's actually really funny. Um, so we'll hit question mark, question mark W. And yeah, I don't know, guys. I hope you guys have been, in, or, or I hope you guys are going to start enjoying the series more as more of these guys do come and play on the server because it's actually going to open up a lot of opportunities for us as it starts to rain because as the serious talk starts, uh, what it's going to allow us to do is I think over the next few episodes we're going to have some gym leaders, we're going to have some tournaments and all kind of stuff like that, um, and I, I'm just really excited for that. So uh, oh, as time does go on, we will be able to uh, you know add some of you guys on, obviously. So if you do want to get added onto the server, I'm feeling like adding a fan on. So next or on the comment on this video down below tell me why you want to be added to the server make sure to write in there i love pixelmon because hopefully you guys all do love pixelmon and um yeah so as always i thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you all next time bye